All right, we've uh, begun a discussion of uh, carbohydrates. We've mentioned glucose, C6H12O6. If on uh, the four module test, you should have to write the formula for glucose, which you might well. Uh, how do you do that? Well, you put the elements, the symbols of the elements, CH and O, uh, and then there's a 6, 12, and 6. Notice where the 6, 12, and 6 are located. Are they superscripts or subscripts or something else script? Well, they're subscripts, and so that's the way I'd expect to see them when you write a formula for glucose. And, uh, and so, uh, what do we have here? We have the ball and stick model. I was waving around with the last unit. And uh, this, also, uh, this also represents uh, C6H12O6. What does that represent? Represents one glucose what? One glucose molecule. You are absolutely right. And so, if I'm in a classroom, I ask a student, how many balls in this ball and stick model of a glucose molecule? And uh, most of them are alert enough to add 6, 12, and 6 and get what? 24. And so there's 6 carbons, those are the black balls. Uh, 12 white ones, the uh, hydrogen representing hydrogen atoms. And 6 red ones representing 6 oxygen. One molecule of glucose, C6. H12O6. But in your study guide questions below, uh, there's a question of this question what is the formula for a fructose molecule? What is that? Well, uh, let's see. Fructose, fructose. Yeah, I get these confused sometimes. Let's see, what is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, here it is. Uh, fructose. It is. C6H12O6. <sighs> and now you're possibly thinking, uh, Professor, maybe you should be popping some of those ginkgo biloba pills. You uh, wrote the same formula for two different things. Oh my goodness, I did. And what do you know about that? Was that a mistake? I don't think so. So how in the world can two different substances, glucose and fructose, have exactly the same chemical formula? Well, here is a ball and stick model of a fructose molecule. It's got exactly the same number and kinds of uh, atoms that the glucose one did. In other words, 24, uh, 6, uh, excuse me, I lost a magic marker here. A uh, uh, six carbons, twelve hydrogens, six oxygens, and so what's the difference between this one and this one? How can how can two different things have the uh, exactly the same uh, chemical formula? Well, do you suppose it's possible to take exactly the same number of atoms, same kinds of atoms, same number of atoms, and hook them together different ways? Yes, that is in fact the case. The same number and kinds of atoms hooked together two different ways. You might think, and who's doing all this hooking together? Well, they're hooked together on assembly lines. Assembly lines? Yeah, in factories. In factories? Yeah. Let's see, what are those factories called? Oh, they're called cells. Yes, every cell is a factory that manufactures lots and lots and lots of different kinds of molecules. And it so happens some factories specialize in putting together these atoms this way and some put it together this way. Now just in case some of you are interested in the difference, um, in case you're interested, you notice that both of these molecules have a ring. See that ring? Maybe I hold it like this. You can see the ring a little bit better. I'll uh, kind of uh, put my uh, finger inside this ring here. And, uh, and uh, this is glucose. And the glucose ring has one oxygen and five carbons and one carbon is off to the side. And a fructose ring is smaller. It only has, uh, it only has one, well, it has one oxygen atom, just like glucose, but it only has four carbon atoms, and two carbon atoms are off to the side of the ring. And so, uh, 24 atoms, same number, same kind of atoms, put together uh, two different ways. And so, um, that finishes our discussion on monosaccharides, very simple carbohydrates, and, 
And, and now we will go back to the lesson and get introduced to the next step up, which is disaccharides.